All right, folks, this is happening in Downey, California here. Look at the uh, suspect went through a cul-de-sac there. Driver is driving erratically here, as you can see here, and now going on to oncoming traffic as well. Very dangerous situation. Let's hope for the very best for the first responders as well as the general public here. You never know what the suspect is going to do, but very erratic here. We don't know the reason why the suspect is on the run, but obviously does not want to be stopped by police. You can see totally going the wrong way here. Let's continue to watch here live. This is in Downey, California. We do take streams from all across the country. And when we do have breaking news, of course, we do bring it to you. Obviously, a very surreal situation here going the wrong direction and somehow not hitting any cars yet. Very amazing. Right, we are continuing to watch here worldwide right now on the Fox 10 and News Now stream, part of Fox10Phoenix.com of this live police chase happening right now in California. Very high rates of speed and the driver erratic right now. You know, so many times people ask me, okay, why do you think they're continuing to be on the run when they have police choppers high above? Obviously, the police are following closely by, and this suspect is just trying to inch his way past these cars here. That one driver getting out of the way, and now once again, oh, very dangerous situation here. Always when they go through these intersections, it's when it typically gets... The biggest moments where an accident can happen, obviously, here. So we're going to continue watching here. Part of the Fox 10 and News Now stream. Thanks to all our viewers watching right now on Fox 10 Phoenix Facebook Live. Let us know where you're, you are watching from. I know during police chases, we always have people watching from pretty much all over the country <laughs> and the world when it comes to this because you all want to know how exactly is this all going to end. And we hope... For the very best for the first responders and the public as well. As uh, so many times, you don't know what the suspect is going to do. It's a true wild card situation. And uh, when this type of stuff happens, you wonder, okay, what does the suspect have in mind? Are they trying to get to a place where they could eventually ditch the vehicle and try to make a run for it? Or... Do they hang around a neighborhood that they know of and are comfortable with? That way they don't make wrong choices when it comes to going down a road they might not know about. So lots of factors that go into this, but obviously a suspect on the run because they want to extend their final moments of freedom pretty much uh, eventually. They are going to get caught. I mean, it's just a matter of time. You do have the police chopper above. You do have the news choppers, obviously. That's the way we're 
able to watch it right now, but yeah, you just don't know how this is going to end, and that sometimes is the most scariest part of, of it all. What is the suspect going to do? You figure, okay, they're already not stopping for police, and they're not obeying any orders or traffic laws. So what could happen next? We don't know. That's why we continue to watch. Viewer discretion, though, is advised. We always say that because you just don't know how these things are going to end. You're just joining us here on the Fox 10 and News Downstream or Fox 10 Phoenix Facebook Live. Been covering this for you for the last five minutes here on the stream. It just came into our feeds right here. And of course, we do go to it when there is breaking news. That is what we do here, right here on News Now. Still trying to get some details on why the suspect is on the run in the first place. And we are getting uh, some new details right now from our sister station, Fox 11. And you can see a traffic jam right here. We are getting closer to rush hour there in L.A. as well, just two hours away from that. But uh, drivers are getting out of the way for this suspect that is really driving erratic. L.A. County Sheriff is the lead on this pursuit. And we're also getting some info from Fox 11, our sister station out there in Los Angeles saying um, that police are in pursuit of a possibly stolen vehicle here. So that just adds and we are learning from our chopper high above that the pilot is able to confirm that this truck is indeed stolen. So that just adds to the layers for this suspect, if they're willing to steal a vehicle and they're willing to continue to not obey the laws, what else are they going to do? And that's, that's what we've been talking about all afternoon here, folks. So we do appreciate you guys being part of the stream here. Stolen vehicle, suspect trying to get away. And thank you all our fans right now on Facebook Live as well as Fox10Phoenix.com letting us know where you are watching from. We do see all your comments there. Thank you so much for checking in and letting us know where you're watching from. You know, I always say it doesn't matter if you if you catch a police chase in the beginning, if you if you see it in the middle, everybody's always going to see it at the end. So that's why we always watch. We always want to uh, see what exactly how this is all going to shape up. Um, it's always a dicey situation. Now that vehicle suspect going on the opposite end there now able to take that right thought for a moment there. When we first got the feed, suspect was going a more than a couple of blocks in the wrong direction. That was the scariest part so far. And then when they went through the uh, intersection as well, when they start running those red lights and into those intersections, that's when you really got to hold your breath there because you don't know how it's going to unfold. Thanks to everybody continuing to watch with us on Fox 10 Phoenix Facebook Live, fox10phoenix.com as well. This is what News Now is here for. Live, Fox 10 Phoenix. And folks, if you do have friends or family in the area, please hit that share button to alert your friends and family of what is going on in the area that way you'll they'll be up to know what's what's going on if they don't already know so especially if they're 
on the roadways out there in California to kind of alert them of what's going on there. As Chopper is able to zoom out here for us, give us a better detail of what's going on. Oh no, going the wrong way again. Here we go. This is always the dicey part. Your discretion is heavily advised during this chase, folks, as the suspect does not care about anybody but himself or herself. We don't know if it's a guy or a girl yet. So far, from what we've seen, this suspect has not gone on an expressway, keeping it to the neighborhoods. That's why you would, okay, it looks like, are they gonna do a three-point turn here? What are they gonna do? Looks, could, could this be the moment? I thought for a moment that suspect would wanna get out of the vehicle there. Nope, looks to be a male as well. Now, many of you are saying, okay, now we're, where are the police in this situation? Don't worry, they are watching, obviously from above as well, but they also have cars there that are undercover as well that they'll be monitoring the situation. The last thing they want to do is get this suspect really nervous, really scared, and do something very erratic. Don't worry, they are keeping a good eye on the suspect here, but you know, these, sometimes these chases could go anywhere from 10 minutes. I've seen them go 90 minutes. You just don't know how, how much gas is in the tank. That's another area you got to think of too. So we'll continue to watch this. You're watching news now. Folks, for those of you maybe just joining us here in the Fox 10 News Now stream, we are monitoring this police chase that we've been covering for the last 10 minutes here on News Now. Suspect wanted for this stolen truck. We don't know if that suspect is armed. That's another factor that you have to consider as well. Suspect has not gone on an expressway there in California. So sticking to this residential area, We'll continue to monitor this here for you, but uh, always a dicey situation.
Hey folks, we are continuing to monitor live here on the Fox 10 and News Now stream. Obviously a very scary situation because the suspect going in the opposite direction again, putting so many lives at risk here as we continue to watch this from our sister station, Fox 11, high up above. Watching this pursuit unfold here. We're just hoping that this will eventually end in just a pullover situation. Our thoughts are for everybody out there in this area, as well as the police who will have to, at some time, deal with this suspect who really only cares about himself going through this parking lot here. No regard for anyone but himself. So we're just sliding right through that parking lot and uh, back on the road here in this residential area. And will he go the opposite direction or jump that median? Okay, going in the median here. Drivers, you figure they don't know what's going on. They're, they're just probably thinking this guy is so reckless. But because you don't see the police vehicles behind the suspect, they might not know it's a chase, just might think it's a nut on the road. Either way, they are right, though. Wow, let's continue to watch here. Thanks to all our viewers on Fox 10 Phoenix Facebook Live, as well as Fox10Phoenix.com. When breaking news does occur, you know we do have you covered here. Just don't know how this may end here, and that's the scariest part here. We're hoping for a pullover situation, hoping for the suspect just to give up, say, you know, enough's enough, but who knows what they're going to do. You can't get in the mind of a, of a felon. You really can't. It's uh, such a wild card situation. They've already stolen a truck. What else are they going to do? They, they don't care about anybody else, it, apparently, when they go and do so many dangerous things on the roadways. Continue to get some more information from our sister station. When we do get that new details, we'll pass that along to you as well. You're watching here on the Fox 10 News Now stream. Onto the sidewalk area now. This is really could get dicey here as, as the moments go on. The traffic will continue to pick up as we're getting closer to rush hour there. Thanks to all our viewers right now worldwide on the Fox 10 and news and now stream for this police chase out in Cali. Covering it for you for the last 15 minutes and this, uh, this driver, very erratic, very dangerous. Suspect is wanted for the stolen truck. We don't know if that person is armed. That just adds another layer here that police have to be worried about for a situation like this. here another intersection here never okay was able to go through that though if you're just joining us here you might be wondering okay well where exactly are the police we've been seeing this from high above but we don't see the police believe me they are watching they have a chopper up there as well and they're just monitoring situation right now they don't want to get this already suspect that seems to be willing to do anything 
They don't want to get him too nervous where they might make a very irrational decision here and could really injure people or do worse than that. So another another intersection going through here as we continue to provide you with these live aerials. You're watching the Fox 10 in News Now stream. Mike Pace here as we continue to follow live here for you on the Fox 10 and News Now stream. It's only pickup truck right now in California as we are taking you these live aerials right now. This driver all over the roadways going the opposite directions on sidewalks. We've seen it all going through parking lots. Who knows what's going to happen next? We hope for the very best for our first responders there, law enforcement, as well as the general public. That has to be on the roadways right now with the suspect. So at this moment, what we've been seeing is it looks like the suspect is at least trying to adapt here in this neighborhood. We haven't seen too many erratic decisions here, so it's almost like the suspect at this moment is trying to blend in with the traffic in this area. We'll see how long he keeps it up. I don't think it's going to be for too much longer, just judging by the way we've been seeing him drive in the past here. So past 15 minutes right here on news now he is in that uh, opposite end there he's in that turning lane for the opposite direction now back on to the right way here but uh, just a matter of time before this police chase comes to an end and how it ends is that is the question we all want to know that's why we all continue to watch here live on the fox 10 and news now stream And we are learning from our Fox 11 sister station out there in L.A. that deputies have backed off from chasing the suspect due to safety concerns. So some safety concerns right here, obviously, because this driver is so erratic. Now on to the opposite side of the roadway once again here. Now in, in the intersection, really making up the rules of the road as he goes here. Never, never a good sign when the suspect just wants to do whatever they please here. Now it looks like he has an open shot right there as it zoomed out. Boy, drivers must be thinking, what is going on? Because we have a wrong way driver happening right now. And this just cannot end well, and we hope it ends well. But boy, the way this is going. You just, you, you don't know. I mean, wrong way driver right now going several blocks. Police have decided to not follow this individual for safety concerns. But right now, look at, I mean, drivers are just really confused and they're like, what is going on? Back into this residential area, he just keep, 
keeps to stay in this residential area, doesn't seem to go too far off. Not going on any expressways that we have seen here, just blowing through stops, why not? He's, uh, he's pretty much broken every rule in the book here when it comes to these traffic situations. Just hope uh, that nobody gets hit, you know, trying to cross the street, a little kid playing in the, in the grass area. You know, you just don't know. You don't know what's gonna happen here. Coming up on 3.15 here, local time, so rush hour is going to be a factor as well, but I don't know if it's going to be a factor too much if he's staying in this residential area, not like on major streets or major expressways. How's it going to end? That's what we all want to know. We want, we want a peaceful end. We want a safe end. But... Uh, you know, if it wasn't for the choppers high above right now, this individual would be uh, escaped. The chopper is always watching right now, so it's going to be hard to. And believe me, they have the police choppers up there as well, taking a look at the. They don't need to follow and be right on the tail of an individual. They're watching right now, and they're going to see. And they're keeping an eye as well. They have unmarked cars as well in the area. So police right now are not following this suspect because of safety concerns. We just don't know how it's all going to shape up. Gas could be a factor too. Just all depends when this suspect got the vehicle, how much gas was in there. So we're thinking of gas situations as well. But, you know, what's going to happen when he does either crash or runs out of gas? That'll be another factor. Does he have a weapon? Another layer that you're going to have to think about as well here. Okay, once again, going in that median area, thinking about going. Now he's on the wrong side once again, just to bypass this traffic here in this area. But as you can see, a lot of drivers shocked when they see, obviously, a car coming your way, which shouldn't be. So everyone's kind of taking it slow right now. Suspect still on the loose here. Police have decided not to follow this individual because of safety concerns. If you're just joining us here, welcome to the Fox 10 News downstream. Or if you're just joining us on Facebook as well, let us know where you are watching from. I know we have always viewers from really all over the country and the world when it comes to these police chases, and they always seem to be in California.
Folks, the only information that we do have for you right here. The deputies were at one time following a stolen white pickup truck that started in the Downey area. The suspect was driving on the wrong side of the road and clipped at least one car during this pursuit. Deputies have backed off from chasing the suspect who's driving very erratic in a possible stolen white pickup truck due to safety concerns. Here comes once again a situation where the driver continues to make his own rules as he goes here. So we are watching worldwide with you guys here on the Fox 10 and News Downstream or to fox10phoenix.com. How will this end? That is the question everybody continues to watch here with us. Wants to know, once again, wrong way driver happening now. Oh boy, these are the situations where it could get dicey at any moment here. And now we're getting into a little bit more traffic situation. What's he going to do? He always goes for this move here. Goes in that median area. Going to go with the traffic here. Takes a left. Continues on. Okay, so police have not been following this suspect here for quite some time just because of the erratic nature and not wanting to get this guy any more nervous than he already is. I mean, you figure, okay, he stole a pickup truck. Does he have a weapon here? That's another question that police are going to have to find out, and hopefully all law enforcement do stay safe, and even everybody driving in this area in the path of this suspect. We are learning from our sister station that now the driver is in the La Mirada area. So I'll update that lower third here for you as continue to follow the suspect here. Hasn't ever been on a uh, expressway, though. Always in this residential area.
And now we are getting in a situation. Take a look at this, everybody. Just that suspect was able to squeeze by those two vehicles there. And now going the wrong way once again. This just continues to be the MO for the suspect here. Now going back onto the right area. Boy, you just don't know how these things are going to unfold here. And the suspect has been making just crazy decisions. Obviously, the first crazy decision that he made was to take a truck that wasn't his and then continue on and put so many lives in jeopardy. But really, this moment, the suspect's only thinking about himself. And now we're in a cul-de-sac situation here. Viewer discretion is advised. We don't know how this might end up here. He's in a dead-end situation in a cul-de-sac. Now just reversing. Pretty much has really free range to do anything right now. Since you're just joining us here, the troopers are not following the suspect because of the erratic nature but look at this i mean just totally reversed out of this block and now is back on the road here free range to do anything basically they're just waiting for the suspect to run out of gas now What the suspect's now pulling a UE here. Like I was saying, folks, I mean, whatever he wants to do here, it looks like. Continues now, goes the wrong way. Why not? Boy. Eventually, they're going to have to try to do something here because there are just too many lives at risk when he goes this opposite direction. Back onto the right way. It looks like now we have somebody finally, fi a police finally following the suspect here in that black vehicle that we do see here. That is definitely police. Oh, no. Now totally going the wrong way. right there on the shoulder now this is bizarre this is surreal i know clip it almost clipped that car now pulling off to go the right way here we have more police now following they're back in the pursuit here as they've seen enough here okay let's see here they were just a moment too late though because at a just seconds ago the suspect was trapped in a cul-de-sac was able to reverse out All right, folks, continuing to follow live here yet for you. We have two vehicles from the police that are right behind this suspect. We've been seeing a lot of erratic behavior within the last 50 seconds. I mean, this whole chase was erratic, but this is really now hyping up, getting very dangerous, hoping for the very best for all the drivers out there, as well as the law enforcement, so they stay safe from this suspect who just continues to not just, to just, now he's on the shoulder here, okay? Staying with you live here on the Fox 10 News Now stream on the shoulder right now how will this end this is what we have all been wondering here the police obviously have seen enough here that's why they've um, right by this individual going now this is always the scary part through these intersections
We've seen since the police have been chasing this suspect that it did get very erratic there. And now another situation. What's he going to do? He's backing up now. OK, police right behind him. Stay right here with us, folks, on the Fox 10 and News Now stream. OK, somehow was able to squeeze right through there. This suspect was pinned, cornered, and found a way. Unbelievable. OK. That was the moment there, and that was the moment I thought they had him, and uh, he was able to squeeze right by. Not the first time he's done that either. About third time he's been able just to squeeze, narrowly squeeze by. But uh, we are following here live for you on the Fox 10 and News Now stream or to fox10phoenix.com. Thanks to all our viewers watching worldwide right here on the Fox 10 and News Now stream and Facebook Live. If you haven't already done so, folks, hit that share button to alert your friends and family of this situation out in California. Police right behind this suspect that continues. I mean, we've been seeing how many times this suspect go the opposite direction. It looks at times when the, the chase is going to end because they're cornered and somehow the suspect is able to squeeze by here. Okay, once again, going that opposite direction here, jumping that median only to go then to a right because of that traffic situation. So suspects still on the run here. We have those two police vehicles following behind. Don't know how these things are going to end here, folks, and we're hoping for the very best for law enforcement here as they uh, have the task right now dealing with an individual that just does not want to stop. They obviously don't care about anyone else but the suspect here. So we're going to see here what is going to happen. Suspect then goes back into the right lane again. How many times, though, have we... Now, I don't know why this suspect is doing this. Now goes... Does, didn't even look like there was a lot of traffic there on the other side, but it's really now going... Okay, median. Here we go again. As you can see, as... The afternoon is going on. We got a lot more traffic coming up here. 
So that's going to be a factor as well. Rush hour soon approaching. Hopefully, they have the suspect in cuffs before then, or it actually gets really going. You can see this driver really erratic here. Pretty much going in circles at this moment here. We are having a lot more choppers now. I mean, uh, police cruisers following behind now as they need to get this individual stopped. They need to get this threat off the roadways as quickly as they can. We are now learning that this is in the Buena Park area. Wow, very close. I mean, just, just squeezed by there. I don't know how that, that truck didn't get hit. Wow. It seems like this suspect has always just been able to squeeze by right there. So many times now going the wrong direction again. Wow. Now picking up at a very high rate of speed here. You did see that there was police blocking off that intersection because they knew that driver was coming and they did not want any individuals to get hit there. So trying their very best here. We don't know if there was stop sticks being used in that area. I don't think so. I didn't see anything being deployed there, but it's getting very scary now. Once again, folks, welcome to the Fox 10 and News Now stream, part of Fox10Phoenix.com, staying in a residential area. That has been the MO of this suspect here, but uh, really does anything he wants here in this stolen truck as uh, seeing more police cruisers there, but they're just watching as the suspect is able to continue to defy the odds right now. And they're trying to get this wrapped up here, but who knows how this is going to end with a suspect that just doesn't seem like it has any quid in them. More traffic coming up here. Wrong way once again. I think this is like the 20th time this driver's gone in the wrong direction. Okay, more traffic coming up here. This could be an opportunity. Looks like they had, oh. It could have been an opportunity as well. Once again, able to evade the police. This is a driver that is just going in and out of lanes. Doesn't stay in the same lane for more than a second. 
And uh, we're watching here worldwide right now on the Fox Standing News Now stream. Thanks to everybody that continues to watch us on Facebook Live as well. All right, folks, we are continuing to watch here once again. This is a suspect that just does not want to pull over. I mean, they've already committed this crime, and uh, they're really just trying to extend their final moments of freedom that this suspect is trying to do, but really putting so many lives at risk out on the roadways, including our brave law enforcement as well, getting a little bit more traffic here. Let's see what's going to happen here. Your discretion is advised going on to the median. Wrong way driver once again. So even when there seems to be a time where this pursuit can end, the suspect then just gets on the median and goes the opposite direction. See the other drivers uh, pulling over. Obviously, they want to get out of the direction of the suspect and the police. That driver didn't want to get out of the way, though. Another intersection here. You guys were all part of the Fox 10 and News Now stream, part of Fox10Phoenix.com. We do appreciate you guys all joining with us here live on the stream and on Facebook Live. And thanks for checking in and letting us know where you are watching from right now. We have really viewers from all over the world right now watching as we do stream live for you. For those of you uh, keeping count, I can't even count anymore how many times we've seen the suspect on the wrong way going through on medians and then always seeming to slip out right when there is traffic in the area. He's able to find just the slightest opening and able to get out and back onto the uh, roadways there. So. We're going to continue to follow this here for you right now on the Fox 10 and News Now stream. We are learning that this is in the area now of Lakewood, California. Lakewood, so I'll update that lower third here as we continue rolling on here. Oh, that, that was close there. We saw that coming up, and that did not look good here. You can see the police cruisers are behind. They're trailing behind and just waiting for a moment where they can maybe do a pit maneuver or something. We've seen this really a suspect really have free range pretty much all over the roadways here, able to do whatever he wants 
And that's a scary situation when that's a scary combo as well. When you have a suspect and someone that doesn't seem to ever have any quit in them. And yeah, that's that's when things can get really bad really fast here. So let's hope for the very best. Let's hope um, for a pullover situation pretty soon. Maybe run out of gas, maybe something here, but uh, it's gonna have to end quickly here as the more and more this driver is out on these roadways, odds keep creeping up that something bad could happen. Okay, what do we got here? Was it more traffic here? It was hard to see with that building right there. It does look to appear to be some sort of traffic here. Not too much to stop. You gotta figure though, drivers in the area must be really scared when they see the situation coming towards them, hoping that it doesn't affect their vehicle. Almost hitting that SUV there was able to swerve out now really going Extremely erratic folks you're watching more traffic here able to Always squeezing by though always squeezing by the suspect here. That's probably about the eighth time We've seen this individual just kind of squeak it out a little Back on the median here on the wrong side. This is where things could get dicey here. More and more drivers are out on the roadways now as we're getting closer and closer to rush hour. Wrong way driver probably for the 20th, 25th time, I'd say. And we are learning through our Fox 11 sister station that the suspect could be possibly armed as well. Not a good combo here. Wow, this driver just keeps continuing to defy the odds here on this chase. Yeah, we don't know what's happening right now. Didn't appear to go. There we go. Catching up with it now. Lost a little sight of the individual, but the uh, police chase continues to go on. Thanks to all our viewers for checking in and letting us know where they're watching from worldwide right now, either on YouTube or foxandphoenix.com right here on Facebook Live as well. But boy, have you guys been watching uh, from the start like we have here as soon as we got the feed? Been seeing some interesting stuff with this, Chase. I mean, how many times? I'd like to say 25 times that this suspect has been on the opposite side of the roadway. He's going the wrong way. How many times have you just been able to squeak by when traffic looked like it was uh, bottling up? 
so many, so many times here. And there was even that one opportunity when police weren't following the suspect when he went to the dead end in that cul-de-sac area and was just able to uh, stop and then just reverse out and nobody was even around him. That could have been an opportunity too. Suspect now doing a UE here, doesn't like that area, and wow. You would have thought maybe at that moment they could have at least, at least of hit that individual. So many police cars now, we've gone from two to about 20 real quick. We're seeing now more police cruisers behind this suspect here as they try to get in some maybe formation to do a pit maneuver here. We're going to see just a little bit. The speeds have decreased right now with this suspect. Everybody's watching now very close. Look at all these police cruisers here showing their force showing okay looks looks to be some situation okay the door is open now everybody door is open let's see are the arms okay, the arms are up hands are up Door is open, hands are up as well, folks. It appears to be a stop, but look at the police cruisers there showing their force in the most dramatic way, but suspect does have his hands up now. Appears that he's obeying their commands of backing up, and then he's going to get on the ground here pretty soon. All guns are drawn right now by police officials. They're going to come with a takedown right now here. And that's a wrap here. Wow. Great job by law enforcement. Didn't appear that anybody got hurt on the roadways there. Beautiful, beautiful takedown.